motion. I have to turn the thing back on. Select it. I'm sorry, I messed up. There we go. There we go. That's all I needed to fix. It's fine. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thank you for coming. Uh, sorry about that. I had to record something for TikTok, and I needed a a background I could key out. Uh, so I turned my my transparency off and forgot. I, honest to God, forgot to start VTube Studio until, like, ten seconds ago. Hi, Curry! Thank you for coming! Thank you for coming to hang out! I'm eating a sandwich at the moment. Don't mind me. Uh, I try to have lunch as close to the start of stream as I can, because I usually eat lunch around 12.30. But that's in the middle of stream. Uh, so I'm trying to have it early, but not, like, too early that I'll end up hungry in the middle of the stream. It's a complicated, it's a complicated balance to strike, but I've got apples, I've got chips. I have my yogurt thing already, which is gross, but it's got, it's good for my gut health. Okay. Let me turn this off. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Because I know your your time zone is, like, wildly different than mine. Um, we've got a lot to do today because a new event started. Uh, we get a little umbrella for it, a little parasol, which is cute. Um, we're gonna do Beast Tribes. Uh, my allowances should be reset, and I'm actually gonna get to do some extra Vanu Vanu ones because I, uh, ranked up with them, but I didn't finish it last night because I ran out of allowances, so I wouldn't have been able to take those extra three. So, I waited so that we could do it today. Um, so, we're gonna do... Ah, Captain, thank you for the gift sub to Curry. Thank you. Uh, you'll get some extra emotes now, though I am... Considering making all of my emotes follower emotes and uh, kind of changing how we do things around here. Um, but I'll worry about that later. That's a that's a not right now thing. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do Moogles, Namazu, and Vanu Vanu. I think that should be all of my allowances for today. Uh, if I get six from the Vanu Vanu for doing the uh, rank up. Let me make sure I'm not going to rank up with someone else, though. Oh, we were going to rank up with Namazu today. Hmm. The Namazu ones are fun. The Namazu are so fucking stupid. I love them. I love them so much. They're so goddamn stupid. Hmm. I'm undecided on what I want to do. We'll figure it out. Let me make sure I'm not going to also rank up with the Moogle. I don't think so. I think I just ranked up with them, so yeah. No, we shouldn't be ranking up with them today. Let me zoom us out so you can see what's going on. Uh, let me grab these three. I don't know if I want to do it. I think we're going to leave them. I think we're going to leave the Vanu Vanu for today. We're going to do Moogle, six, six Namazu quests, uh, what is, what's the, what's the other one I have for Realm Reborn? Kobolds. We'll do Kobolds. Uh, but first... We are going to go to Ulda to pick up the event. And we're going to do the event quest. Because event quests are usually really cute. So we'll do that. And then we will do Beast Tribes. Uh, we're also going to... I'm 
if we if we're not busy with other stuff at noon, we'll go do ocean fishing too. I'm trying to stuff this sandwich in my mouth. I'm not sure how many of you here also watch the TikTok. Um but uh, I hit a hundred followers on TikTok last night, and now it's at like a hundred and twenty, a hundred and thirty. So uh, thank you everyone for for hanging out on the TikTok. Yeah, no, there is there is so much in this game. It's like buck wild. I, I cannot, I want to do so much more with TikTok. TikTok is a really fun platform. We'll get a little parasol and whatever that is. I think that's a little, like, effect that we can set off. But TikTok is so fun. I want to do more TikTok stuff. Like, it's a wild platform. And I want to do more weird, fun shit with it. I've got a lot of sounds saved that I want to do things with, um, I have some other videos I want to make, I want to do, I want to put more stream highlights up there, so I'm really excited for TikTok. Okay, so what does this cute cat girl want? Look at her, she's cute. She's so cute. Yeah, maybe I can. What you need, girl? Oh, you're one of the reporters. I forgot about them. Look at her lips. She got big lips. I mean, like, not as big as Gaia's, but... Uh, just recently, an unusual visitor cut through Gadania's markets like a scythe in a frenzy to purchase every Nimia lily available. And I mean all of them. Man, I didn't know we had them. Didn't, didn't Nimia, like, die out? That's where all the Tomberries are. For what purpose, I hear you ask? Well, my friend, I sense the answer to that question will provide the basis for my next scoop. Ah, uh, intrepid journalism. Uh, so I did some nosing around. No one I talked to could put a name to our mysterious flower fancier, but by all accounts, he and his cargo hold of lilies had departed for Ulda. Not wanting the trail to grow cold, I quickly grabbed my quill and notepad and boarded an airship myself. And was quickly reminded of how hard it is to chase a story in unfamiliar territory. Fair enough. I've been everywhere, though. Uh, you know this town and its people well enough, though, don't you? What say you lending a hand to my investigative efforts? Are you gonna pay me? Like, you're cute, but I do need you to pay me. Pay me in umbrellas. To the nearest drinking establishment. Okay. To the Adventurer's Guild it is. Uh... Quicksand? I think quicksand is the the one in Ulda. I think that's what it's called. It's like right over here. You see we got all these banners up for the rising, which is what this event is called. Um, oh, it's the uh, it's the gunbreaker guys. They give me gunbreaker quests. I'm not leveling, I'm, I've stopped leveling gunbreaker for now because it scares me. Okay, there's a lot of people over here, so this is probably where I need to be. Uh, speak- oh, speak with- I have to speak with Melody first, okay. Get a little ASMR chip eating. Serious faces! I love Mamodi, she's so cute. Oh, playing reporter, are we? I don't know why I feel like all the tavern owners are Scottish. Sounds like fun. Let's hear your questions, then. Ahem. We are attempting to track down a particular someone who purchased a suspiciously large number of Nimia lilies in Gridania before transporting them to Ulda. Any idea of who this person might be? It's mysterious. 
Hmm, we have more than our fair share of traders coming and going, and a large shipment arriving in the city is hardly a noteworthy occurrence. Yeah, but they're Nimia lilies. You don't, like, have those here. But now that you mention it, I do remember this florid minstrel fellow who came in the other day. Said he'd pulled in from Gridania and needed help hauling a hefty delivery to the Alchemist Guild. Oh, no. The, the Alchemist Guild has already tried to pull one full metal alchemist on me. I do not need them doing it again. He's actually a familiar face in these parts. Never did get his name, though, strangely enough. Human. A nameless traveler arriving from Gridania with a sizable cargo to move. That sounds promising. That's probably the dude. I feel like too many people don't come out of Gridania and come to Ulda. Like I said, it was just a request to move cargo. Before you run off to a possible dead end with the alchemist, I suggest you fish for more information inside the quicksand. After all, where else can you find so many gossipy adventurers crammed into one spot? Uh, the Limsa Aetherite Plaza. That's, that's the answer. It's the Limsa Aetherite Plaza. That's where everybody is 100% of the time. That certainly makes sense. Between the two of us, however, I see no reason why we cannot do both. I shall stay here and interview the clientele while you chase down our other lead at the Alchemist Guild. Yeah, okay. Better me than you, or they know me there. They won't try and pull shit with me. Then that will be our plan. Once you've spoken with the potion mixers, make your way back here and we can discuss any new revelations. Got it. Uh, by the way, I've put a donation goal up for September. It's going to run to the end of September. Don't feel like you have to. It's just, you know, it's just there. That's not where I want to go. That's not the right door. Look at these two, though. They're so cute. They just hang out here. They just hang out, wait for me to pick up a gunbreaker request that I'm not going to pick up for a while. Because tanking scares me. There's the eighth right. Tanking scares me so bad. I'm very freaked out by tanking. Let's see if we can turn turn this up a little bit. There we go. Now you get the music. Alchemist Guild. Okay, I don't need this open anymore. I will leave those open. I can go back here. Good. Yeah, this fucker. This fucker tried to pull a full metal alchemist and bring back his his cat girl girlfriend who died. I can tank, I just don't like it. Ah, my loyal assistant. I am not, thank you. Uh what brings you to the guild at this hour? Ha, as if I paid attention to the mundane concerns of timekeeping. You don't sleep, sir. Have you some stimulating morsel of esoteric wisdom to share? Sure, why not? You brought questions for a tabloid piece? Think you that I, a thrall of academic exertion, have even a moment- Sir, you tried to resurrect your cat girl girlfriend. That's basically tabloid bullshit. Look at this cute rabbit lady. Look how cute she is. Damn, girl. Ah, but just a moment. Perhaps there's a shred of scholarly value to this, after all. I vaguely recall the flamboyant character of whom you speak and his request to process a vast quantity of floral material. For process how? Yet yeah, look at her! She's so fucking cute! What happened? Let's make Catton. September great. Captain, thank you! Thank you, I appreciate it. Um... Like I said, it is unnecessary, but I truly appreciate it. Uh, I would try and get by and find jobs and shit. Oh, uh, she left. Uh, tis laughable that I would undertake such a menial chore, of course, so I assigned the task to my subordinates. 
If you wish to discuss the tedious details, Dietrich is your man. I know Dietrich, don't I? Is he the main dude in here? Yeah, counter boy, I know you. Why, I should be delighted to assist you. This is regarding that large delivery of Nimi and Lily's? Yes, it is. There we go, there's a good angle. There's a good cinematic angle. Yes, the guild did accept a task involving said flowers as commissioned by a nomad. Is it the wandering minstrel? What is he what is he doing with these flowers? Is he sad about something? Is my man sad about something? Uh, and though I cannot reveal the nature of what we've produced, I can tell you that it should be distributed among the populace as part of the events of the Rising. If you wish to know more, then I might suggest you speak to the gentleman himself. What is the wandering minstrel up to today? That guy's my dude, and I want to know if he's okay. I need to know if my dude is okay. I like that guy. He makes me sound cool. There she is. She's over there. Adventurer, you're back. Did the alchemist offer up any new information? Yep, I know who it is. It's the Wandering Minstrel. I want to see what's up with him. So to summarize this famously, famously unnamed minstrel of nomadic inclination, you can just say Wandering Minstrel. We have a word for this. Uh, commission the manufacturer of some yet as unknown item to be handed out during the Rising. Oh, I heartily agree that we should speak with him directly, and as luck may have it, I've just discovered that he means to put on a performance at the Ruby Road Exchange. Good, we'll go hang out with him. I think it's time for one of my patented on-the-spot interviews, don't you? I don't think you patented that. I feel like all of you that I've met from this newspaper all do this. This little stage that I forgot was here. That they set up sometimes. Yeah, it's my dude! It's the Wandering Minstrel! It's my guy! Hey, Coyote! What's up? We're doing- we're doing an event, and then we're gonna do Beast Tribes, and then we're gonna do some other stuff. Greetings, sir. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but you are the famous Wandering Minstrel, are you not? Yep, this is my man. Look at him. It's my man. I know those- uh, I know those goggles anywhere. I am indeed. And look who you've brought to see me. Was there aught I might do for you fine people? Yeah, man, what's up? I've been following you, to be perfectly honest. I'm curious to learn more about the wagon load of lilies you turned over to the alchemist. Not to mention your plans to distribute the results of their work. You followed me, but how did you- I mean, why would you? I mean, we just want to know what's up. Ah, a writer for the Raven. That explains much. And did you also learn what I tasked the alchemist to create? Is the curl out of the bag for all to smell? No, but I don't know. I don't have any idea what's going on. I just know that it's happening. No, we were hoping you might tell us. Good, then my surprise remains unspoiled. The plan, if you must know, is to hand out bundles of potpourri to all and sundry during the rising. As in flowers mixed with spices? That aromatic stuff you see in bowls on parlor tables and the like? Okay. The very same, except my potpourri will delight the eyes as much as the nose thanks to the alchemical wizardry infused by my co-conspirators. That's good, because we can't smell things in this game. We can only see them. Yet even without such enhancements, the scent of Nimian lilies is known to promote calm and tranquility. The rising is a time of remembrance, of mourning. Is a time when sorrow can overwhelm folks who lost friends and loved ones in the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Which is, I think, the thing that happens right before A Realm Reborn? Yes. Yeah, bring back smell vision for video games. And TV. And movies. Actually, I think they still do that with movies. That's like 4D shit. It is my hope that the Lily's gentle perfume will afford such burdened souls a modicum of peace during this oft-times melancholy memorial. That's nice. What a sweet man. 
What a genuinely lovely idea. I feel that. Only just this moment we're, we were making arrangements for a showcase of my humble talents where I shall hand out potpourri, excuse me, potpourri bundles to the audience. Again, I'm glad we met ere you inadvertently spread word of our little surprise gift. I trust now have sufficient detail to write your article. Oh yes, plenty. Yeah, write a nice article about my man trying to help sad people. Now, since you've joined the inner circle, so to speak, we must have you play a role in the performance. Oh yeah, get her up on stage. You needn't fret. I merely wish for your assistance in passing out potpourri. I can supply the crowd at the show, but it would be most helpful if you might deliver bundles to some other part of town. Yeah! Then you can write about how happy it made people. Make the people happy. Let's head back to the quicksand adventure. If we hand out bundles there, then we can be sure to cover folk from every corner of the city. Or we could just go around the city, but this might be faster. We were low on helping hands to tell the truth, so this has worked out for the best. Please come and meet me at the Ruby Road Exchange once you finish with your task. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, mining is great. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt when you get to higher levels and they want you to mine high quality items. Um, but my, I love gathering. I love gathering so much. It's so relaxing. Let's get to work, shall we? I mean, it, it's honestly, it's worth picking up all the crafters and gatherers if uh, crafting is a thing you want to do, because they kind of all feed into each other. Look at this handsome cat boy! Thank you. Are they boyfriends? What are you giving out there, adventurer? Do I know you? I feel like I know who this is. She cute. Ah, I know this scent. Nimi and Lily, yes? Girl, what do you know about that? Uh, this flower is often placed on the graves of the fawn, a practice with which I am, alas, intimately familiar. We want to calm people down who are sad. Perhaps the perfume does remind one of the peace of repose rather than violence which took our companions from us. It would seem the minstrel has given this matter some thought. Because he's a nice dude. For cart no veterans such as myself, the season of the rising can be a torment. Like the throbbing pain of an old wound. Girl. I will keep this bundle close, I think, and breathe in its calm whenever I feel my thoughts turning grim. She's so sweet! She's so cute! <gasps> hey, it's Momodi! Keeping busy there, aren't you, Ryder? I know it's for the rise and all, but it tickles me to see a hero of your stature handing out presents like a simple errand girl. I just like helping the people. I just like helping the people. It's what I do. I mean, ever since we first met, you've always been the type to lend aid where it's needed. It's the thing I do. It's how I do. It's how I roll. And you haven't changed one bit. Makes me happy it does, not to mention a little misty-eyed. Aw, you want, you want some potpourri, Mamodi? The good you've done for folk will linger on, an unshakable foundation for your future. Keep going the way you're going, my friend, and we'll all be the better for it. I mean, what I do is I save the world and I make people happy. 
They ask me for help and I give it. That's what I do. Here, why don't you let me have whatever bundles you've got left and I'll put them together with the ones I took from your reporter friend. If we leave a basketful on the guild counter, I guarantee they'll hand themselves out before the rising's over. Girl, I love Momodi. Mistress Momodi took a goodly amount off my hands, but I think we've done our fair share of the work. We should go see the minstrel and let him know we've completed our task. I love the tail sock on this outfit for cat girls. The cat boy one does the same thing, but it's got uh, coattails instead of a tutu, which I like better, but I like the coattails better. The reporter and her most qualified assistant return. The performance went well, I must say, but what of your story research? Were the townsfolk willing to share any moving material? Yeah, we got a lot of sad people. I was regaled with many an anecdote from those who lived through the calamity. I'm privileged to hear their treasured memories of those who did not. That's sweet. Back when the calamity was poised to strike, I had only just earned my reporter's quill. I was rushing around town, questioning adventurers and taking notes. But as Dalamud descended ever lower, the streets erupted into chaos. It was then that I fled with my younger brother to the border in relative safety. There was a few less prudent friends and colleagues who might still be here if they had done the same. In the years since, the world has risen from the ashes. I've done my best to rise along with it. But there are things I cannot say should not forget. Such are the thoughts which blossom in my mind when I breathe in that potpourri's perfume. Damn, girl, we get deep. I've enjoyed our collaboration this day, adventurer. I shall attempt to write a piece that does it justice. What do you say to Rising Calm as the title? That's cute. Okay, Captain, you have a, you have a good, uh, I think, evening for you. You can look for a bit. That's fine. I'm always, I'm just happy to have you here. How fitting. I look forward to reading it. I too sense the stirring of a new composition. A hopeful verse dedicated to continued safe passage of those who have yet to ascend the path out of cat catastrophe and despair. I mean, that's fair. We haven't gotten through Endwalker yet. We've still got Fan Daniel's bimbofication towers to deal with. Oh, here he goes. Oh god, my psychic migraines are coming back. Haven't dealt with one of those in a long time. Oh, it's Heidelin? Is Heidelin gonna lecture me now? Oh. Moon. Moon's haunted. Greetings, warrior. Oh! Oh shit! Is it fucking Ardbert? Is fucking Ardbert paying me a visit? Or is this Yoshi P? Is this Yoshi P coming back? Yeah, it's Yoshi P. Hey, Yoshi P. I forgot that he shows up during events sometimes. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream, a flight of fancy? No, you're the director coming to talk to me. You're breaking the fourth wall, my man, but in the wrong direction. Is fucking Naoki Yoshida himself. What a pleasure it is to welcome you here again, Ryder. And what a privilege that your chosen trail should run alongside mine for so long. On a day such as today, I hope you will forgive me a brief bout of nostalgia. I got confused. Hey, McMister Professor! I got confused because, uh, he looks like Arbert from a distance when he's in silhouette because Arbert has all the armor and shit. 
It's been an entire decade since I first came to this world. I was a stranger here, a traveler in a troubled land, and the quest for its salvation consumed my, my every moment. That's fair, I've heard 1.0 was pretty bad. Countless trials were met and overcome, and the world not only survived, it flourished. Yeah, 2.0 was great. The victory we owe to those who persevered alongside us, to those who explored and nurtured and loved this realm as much as we. Yes, it is you of whom I speak, of our indomitable adventurers. Aww. Ten years is a long time, yes, but for me the number holds no special significance. It is simply a count of the passage of days. Success, however, would not have come without the accumulation of daily effort, and that is what makes it a milestone worth marking. Thank you for staying the course with us these many years. I will keep making plans for this world for the foreseeable future. It has become a part of my life, and to see it grow is an adventure in itself. This is, this is very sweet. Actually, especially after, um, you know, all the stuff with, with FanFest this year and how much everyone has been putting into making the game grow and all this. This is just, it's very sweet to have this kind of direct message to the players. Rest well, Warrior of Light, for a grand convergence of events approaches. May the road upon which you must embark become the greatest of all. I'm, I'm like getting a little teary. This is really sweet. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend. This is- this is so cute. Bye, Yoshi P. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming to visit me on my stream. <laughs> what a moving rendition. And now I really must head home to write that article. You have my gratitude, Ryder. I would still be floundering in the street without your assistance. Until we meet again. Tell your friend from the Evil East Raids that I said hi. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we do Friday streams and Sunday streams at 11 a.m. EST. That's the schedule now. Uh, a great many lives were lost in the flames of the Calamity, not to mention the chaos which followed. Yet it is the survivors who must face the challenges of living in this new era we have salvaged. To you, champion in the vanguard of our efforts, I dedicate these- Is he gonna sing me a song? Sing me a song, my man. I'm not gonna sing this, I'm just gonna say it. Scarred by the falling of fiery stars, the land is reborn with new life. God slayer struck by an echoing roar, heavens ring with the promise of strife. Beast and man both seek freedom or death in bloody unfer inferno untamed. Unbroken by hopes from a sky long undimmed, shall the darkness of eld be reclaimed. Oh, Shadowbringers. A merciless gale, an unending road, if this be the path we are fated. Then pray be our dawn in the rift betwixt worlds, your soul's splendid light unabated. This is, it's cute. Thanks for singing me. See, he makes me sound so cool. Oh, more fireworks. I really must apologize for pressing you into service for my potpourri scheme. I tend to consider adventurers as fellow wanderers and call upon the assistance of your kind with little reservation. That's okay, man. You wrote like ten songs about me at this point. It's fine. As for the gifts themselves, there was another reason as to why I chose the Nimi and Lily. Traditionally, the bloom is said to represent a prayer for safe passage. Uh, let's get lit. Nini Curry, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for the host. Thank you for coming by. I'm glad you could hang out for a little bit. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening. You sleep well. Nini. Uh, the way ahead yet promises more hardship, and I wanted at the very least to wish you, all of you, the smoothest road for the coming journey. Yay.
fireworks over all the and the logo nice nice that's cute oh complete we did it we completed the seasonal event the great eight is there a title that comes with that probably not Uh, so we'll use that. And I forget where... Fashion accessories? Yeah, here we go. So now I can walk around with a little... I can walk around with a little parasol. See? It's so cute! I can just walk around with this. And then I put it away. Yeah, uh, this is the event for the rising. Uh, we, it, it's very sweet. It's very, very cute. You get a sweet little little message from the director at the end. And then you get a cool song sung about you. Okay, so I've used that already. Uh, we'll put this. Stick that in my chocolate saddlebag. I have so much dye in here. Uh, okay. Let's see, where am I, where am I? Uh, I think... This is 56. Leather worker. Okay. So we'll switch to leather worker. I haven't gone on leather worker in a bit. Okay, my gear is up to date. So let's go... Uh, bother the moogles. I think... It's like between Mogholm and Zenith. Uh, yeah, the the event for the polar bear just ended. Uh, the the uh, the beach event just ended, and now there's the event for the Rising. Uh, which I think commemorates the anniversary of the game. Oh, it's actually, it's closer to Zenith. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Uh, and you get a little parasol. You get a little parasol and like an effect you can set off. Now it's time for Beast Tribe Quests. Actually, I'm tempted to pick these up and then go to Limsa. Uh, because we've got about... Oh, we can do them. We've got about 20 minutes until ocean fishing. Okay, so I have to go do something with this. Uh, you're sure to have a comfortable trip, just be careful. Some find themselves too comfortable. Uh, I myself have fallen asleep riding them more times than I care to admit. Okay. Uh, if ride the cloud in Hollow and use its seed ability at, zen at the Zena. Okay, so this way. bother these guys. I feel my strength returning. It's not strength, you guys just got lazy. Clamoring about the joys of working. Uh, what's that, Mallow? 
is the one that I'm doing? Oh no, seedability at the rookery. Where is the rookery? It's over here. the rookery oh up here okay I'm not even going vaguely the correct direction I wonder if you can get this as an actual mount from the moogles at some point because like this is a kind of a loaned mount I don't get to keep it I just get to ride around on it for this quest but I kind of love it and I would kind of like to actually have it as a mount Oh, my cat is very cute. He's all stretched out. Hey, big boy. They got a bath yesterday. Uh, I gave my cats a bath yesterday. It was not as hard as it could have been. It went a little better than the first time I had to do it. Thank you. No thank you for the fate. I do not want to. I feel like they're down here somewhere. No? Where are they? They're like in this orange circle, but I can't find where. Are they like up here? No, they're down. So they're like at this height? Where are they? There they are. Feeling fresh and fired up. That's a mood. I want to feel fresh and fired up. keep an eye on the time so we don't miss ocean fishing. Because it's really good fishing experience. And I'm in like the last four levels of, of fishermen. And that is a pain in the butt to level. Uh, the diadem is, is great for uh, for botanist and miner, though. Like, that's the way to do it. Okay, so... We'll go down here. I like to turn the quests in all at once. I wish they had just used Shadowbringers as the song for this, because that plays during that fight, but it, they always use, like, the second phase song. Uh, 
Uh, you're that crafting adventurer. Thank goodness you're here. I can't finish harvesting these sparkling mallows now that my hatchet's ruined. Uh, I'd hate to- do you think you could help me fix it? The head of the hatchet is practically snapped off when I struck the base of the mallow. Okay. Gathering, okay, so Beast Tribe quests, Moogle, Gathering Tool Component, they don't need to be high quality. Great. broke another hatchet. That's okay. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing the problem. Uh, and then there's a guy all the way up here. Okay, so we'll finish our Moogle quests and then we'll go to Limsa. Uh, I'll pick up some gill from my retainers. And then we will uh, do some ocean fishing. And then we'll go do Namazu quests. Because the Namazu are fucking hilarious. They're dumb as shit, but I love them. One thing I say about Stormblood is that it has the best environments. It also has the best beast tribes. Heavensward had some pretty good beast tribes. Um, but the, the Stormblood beast tribes are just so good. Hold on, I gotta get this thing to not fall. Madam, did you come to look upon the monstery after hearing of the great dragon's regaling tales? Everything he promised and more. Uh, produce more tiles in an hour than we lasted in a day. Uh, okay, I think I can... Okay, veneer component. And that does need to be high quality. has some excellent areas to move through. Yeah, heaven like the heavensward areas are very cool. I just think the uh the stormblood areas have the most character of of the expansions. Like I I think I think stormblood has the most interesting areas. Uh oh, I have to do this again. That's fine. But the heavensward areas are very good. I love them. Like, I love all three expansions. Like, even if I think Stormblood is the weakest story-wise, like, it has so many other cool things in it that I'm like, okay, I still really enjoyed this. 
Um, even if I think that Heaven's Word and Shadowbringers had stronger stories. But I mean, like, look, of them, one of them has to have the, the weakest thing. It's just like that. It's still a good story. It's still really good. I just think the other two were, were stronger. Like, honestly, I love all of this game. I love all of this game so much. Like, look at this. This is all so fucking cool. turn-ins. And complete. <sighs> beast tribe quests- crafter beast tribes are like such good crafting experience, honestly. Um, okay. Yeah, 52, let's go to Limsa. And then after ocean fishing, we will go do Namazu. And then I will see... I think I should be able to do six Namazu quests today because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna rank up with them. So I don't think we can do the Vanu Vanu. So we will probably go do Kobolds? Maybe? Not from you. Not from you, kid. No, you don't have any gill for me. It's the other two that have gill for me. probably buy more bait. But I don't need to buy a lot. So... My little dude! My little dude running with me. I hate this noise that he makes. I hate it so much, but I love him. So I let him stay. But I hate this squeaking noise. I want the Major General so badly. So, 
11 krill. And oh, wait, we got one more krill. There we go. Full stacks. Okay, so you've got four minutes before ocean fishing, so we're just gonna relax for a couple minutes. We're just gonna relax, I'm gonna check my posture, I'm gonna eat an apple. I'm going to apparently spill some water on myself. Like an like a big dumb baby. There we go. I'll put this on my coaster so that I don't ruin my desk because now the bottle is wet because I spilled water on myself. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna have an apple. It's fine. So how are we all doing this morning? How are we doing? We all doing good? Yeah, I'm at 131 followers on TikTok. I just checked. So, I will probably make a follow-up in the next day or two, being like, holy shit! More people followed me! Mining for high-quality Cinnabar. Oh, uh, they got you doing those high-quality mining, mining job quests now? Uh, it's easier if you make sure that your gear is the right level. That's a thing that I didn't learn quickly enough. Sticky biscuit? Look at those. Look at this man named Sticky Biscuit. Look at him. I love him. His name's fucking Sticky Biscuit. You have Chillax over here? Who's Chillax? I'm gonna- Ah, Chillax! I get it! She cute. MMOs before hoes. That's a good- that's a good free company name. I like her, she's cute. Okay, so we should be ready to go any second now. Juicy? I'm sorry, who is Big Juicy? I want to know who Big Juicy is. I can't find them. It, they're, I don't know where they are. Oh, he's over there. It's a Roganin. That is truly... A man named Big Juicy. That is the only man that could ever be named Big Juicy. I love him. I, I love him truly. Pet my cat. And there he is, my sweet boy. I love him. I love my cat so much. He's so cute. And he didn't get mad at me for giving him a bath, which makes me happy. Because he did not enjoy it. I do want to get my cats, like, used to taking baths, though. I want to get them used to the water.
I do need to, like, look up the friggin' bait charts or something, because I don't know what the baits are, and I feel bad, like, asking every time. Someone else has done it this time, so I don't have to, but... Okay, so these are the, this is the same one I got last night that I did not catch any jellyfish or crabs at all. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to do Mooch 2! Me and Hikaru Rin over here. Vibin'. Here we go, look at this beautiful view we've got. We've got two different Rins. We've got Hikaru Rin and Rin Kakume. So, yeah, Krill, Plump, and then Rag. Okay. Once I've hit 80 on Fisherman, I'll look up how to do fishing properly. Because I know that I'm not doing it right. Or I'm doing it right, but I could be doing it better. Caught a thing. Ah, oh, I, I never wait to be able to use Mooch too. Oh, we got the thing. That's cute. Like, it, they're... Like, look, I'm only using two of these, like, 15, 20 buttons that I have. Like, I could be doing this so much better, but I just- I have not invested in figuring out how.
I love the music for this. The, the spectral current is, like, such a rush. <laughs> like, I've got so much adrenaline now. I'm like holding on to a spectral megalodon that I got a couple days ago. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I want to get a tank to put in. Because it's just a big weird ghost shark. And I kind of love it. Oh, my cat is sleepy. Look at this. Just hanging out off Costa del Sol. It's beautiful. Waving to the people on the beach. I love ocean fishing. Is he dead? Is that guy dead? Is he okay? Oh, we're hanging out a uh, different part of Limsa. <laughs> That's a good name. Jasperhead. That's new. Oh god, we're already in the spectral current? Holy shit. What did y'all do? Already. Usually we don't- I don't get it on the second one. Ghost shark. Catching a lot of new fish today. getting the big three bites or the the really strong bite which is what I need there we go there's one funnel shark it's fucking horrifying ocean fishing is so much fun like I I really recommend it if you want to level uh, fishing it's just, it's really good for leveling fishing, and it's 
less boring than normal fishing. <laughs> We've still got four minutes left, and we already had the Spectral Crown. Holy shit. I can't believe we got it, like, immediately. I'm not even sure how that happened, honestly. I've never had it pop one that early. I wonder if we'll get it in all three areas. Shadow. That's cute. What are the goals doing? I love ocean fishing. I just forget about it sometimes. So, like, I'll, I'll forget, and then I'll miss it, and be like, oh, I'll do the next one, and then I'll forget. Because I'll be busy with something else. Rosie Green, that's cute. That's it, that fish sounds cute. And there we go, I leveled up. Now I'm at 78. Tarnished shark, ooh. I mess up. Oh, I'm up on the thing! <laughs> I love the bread emote. I'll have to show you all the bread emote when we're done. Ooh, we're out in Dravania.
is so cute, I can't get over it. This was a pretty good fishing expedition. I think, like, 3,500? I don't think I've ever had 3,500 at this point. Thirty-four hundred, you know, whatever. I would like to at least finish two objectives. I feel like I'm more likely to finish the strong bite than the, the jellyfish or crabs. get like a new cushion for this chair. big ones. I want to finish at least two of my voyage missions. Or just give me more crabs. Just give me several, several more crabs. Like, the one thing about the voyage missions is it is all kind of luck, to a degree, which makes fishing a pain. Mega squid! Mega Squid! Mega 
I don't know, this set of missions I just have really bad luck with. So this is probably my last cast. Oh shit, why did I do that? That was stupid of me. Okay, well we didn't do all of the, the missions, but I feel like 3,700 is more than I've ever ended in ocean fishing with. So let's see where we end up after the bonuses. Damn, that's so close. That's you. I think you need seven thousand to get the major general. That's the highest I've ever gotten on ocean fishing. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now we will switch to culinary, and is still my lowest level sixty. down near the bottom. And to the Horoila. I love the- I wish it wasn't so foggy! The Azim Step is like one of my favorite locations in the whole game. I love the Azim Step. But it's foggy, so you can't see things. <gasps> he stretched his toes! My kitty is stretching his toes. Oh, even with the fog, this is kind of pretty. Like, look at this. Look how pretty. Just look. Look how pretty this is. Oh, the fog is clearing. Over there is a mountain. But, like, look at this. Look how pretty all of this is. It's beautiful. I 
no. Uh, the Wandering Minstrel isn't. Yoshi P's OC is that guy that comes up in the Psychic Migraines. Um, though Yoshi P, I believe, does normally play a Lollafell. Uh, I'm not sure why you're still running errands for Sekigetsu the Intolerable. <laughs> Having said that, I'm always told to do business with one as well-mannered as yourself. Uh, at the new rich, we find intriguing. Some of the locals partake in imbibing with the kumis. I don't know what that means. I've obtained a quantity of mare's milk, but I gather the fermentation process. Hello, darling. You gonna, you gonna lay in your box now instead of the window? Is that what we're doing? I'm gonna pet him. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I just wanted to pet my cat. Okay, step souvenir components. Uh, Namasu. Step souvenir components. Does not need to be high quality. So we will just, uh... Have you brought the goods I seek? I have! I've got the goods. Uh, where is it? Should be in three, probably? Yeah. Like, look at all these fucking fish I have now. I have to get rid of these. Production of authentic local goods can begin. Customers from far and wide will flock to the new rich for such fine wares. If I can ensure a steady flow of stock from the Azim Step, my profits will go through the roof! That's a mood. Uh, you've kept your part of the bargain, so I will do likewise. The finest quality engine timber now belongs to the 777. Show you the goods. I will. Nya! 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 There you go, that's the goods. Uh, be sure to tell Seki gets to the insufferable that I'm willing to supply further shipments, although I would prefer to avoid dealing directly with that pompous nincompoop. Fair. I would too, but I gotta do this shit. I gotta get through these quests. Gotta get that good, good crafter experience. Like, look how friggin' pretty. The Azim Step is. I love it out here. This is one of my favorite locations in the game. Switch where my head up towards? Ghosts of Honor. Okay. Mr. Wiggly, my Wiggly boy. Did Gyofun, I mean Sekigetsu the Enlightened, send you? I'm so inundated with tasks, I can't possibly manage them alone. I need your help. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Yarnball's logged in. Yarnball is my friend. Uh, we need traditional del delicacies to present as offerings. Please look inside that crate and see if there's anything you can use. When you're done, please go straight to Sekigetsu. He is insistent that he is the only one capable of arranging the offerings as tradition dictates. Yeah, he is a little weirdo. Uh, Hingen Ritual Paraphernalia. Okay. Does not need to be high quality. 
nice. Gotta go to this one. And then we should be leveling up the Namazu, so I should be able to get three more quests from them. That did say what you thought it said. It sure did. Did we pass it? I did. I passed it. Here we go. What are you doing, little fishy? Little fishy fisherman? Seki gets who's growing impatient, is he? But I can't go back now. I finally found the great barbled one. The trouble is, she's taken a liking to my lures and has eaten them all. Uh, it said Bridge of the Hyrule Warriors. I'll go back up there in a second. Perhaps you could make the scented smelly things be attached to catfish lures. You're a fucking catfish! Uh, catfish lure components also do not need to be high quality. Amazing. So you have something to show me? I do. I cooked you some lores. Splendid. My success is all but a foregone conclusion now. You can run along to Sekigetsu and tell him I'll be back with an offering so auspicious he'll regret ever doubting me. I'm sure he will. Okay, we do need to pass back over it, so... Bridge of the Hyrule Warriors. If you ever think anything is a pun in this game, it is. It's always. It always is. The answer is yes every time. Okay, let's see how we're gonna save the Namazu today. Maybe it's not. The, maybe it's not the Namazu. Is it? I don't know. We'll see. that I was gonna level one of them up today. I guess I was- maybe I was wrong. Oh no, we did. I thought so.
Gyoshin is more eager to speak with you than ever before. Hi, Kant! Thanks for coming by! Rider, Rider, there's something I wish to discuss. Wait here while I gather the others. Oh no, what is it? What is happening? I hate Sekigetsu. I hate his weird... Uh, look at him. I hate... The, the, that eye shape doesn't work with this face. I mean, it does, but it just it bothers me when the rest of them all look like this. It's just... It's weird. It's weird. Our joint efforts have borne fruit, and more and more Namazu come from Yanja to join us every day. We are surely nearing 777 participants by now. Yes, yes. Though I admit I lost track after nine. I only have so many wit fins and whiskers to count with, you know. Yeah, fair enough. You are small and stupid. I don't think you know how to count that high, actually. Alas, my sleep tr remains troubled, restless. Every night I dream of nothing but the big one. The big one. My, my, is the big one still so unsatisfied with our offerings? I wish I knew. Perhaps an offering in and of itself does not a festival make. If we had the wrong idea, then... Then... I hate when they have eyelids. We will die in seven years! Seven years! <laughs> just look at me just staring blankly into oblivion. Please at least feign distress over our plight. Y'all be fine, don't worry about it. Gyoshin's absurd night terrors notwithstanding, he is right that in that an offering does not constitute a festival. In addition of a ceremony with more cultural aspects would not go amiss. I can't read. True, primitive festivals were not particularly artistic endeavors, but from their base origins did they evolve. Prayer transformed to divination and ritual to spectacle. Thus did- I think what bothers me is that his, like, I don't know, his pupils are too big? His, or like his iris and pupil are too big for his eyes, I wish they were smaller. Uh, thus did the shaman become ever more significant to society and come to wield power similar to that of a chieftain or a king. And these shamans in turn imbued festivals with yet more ostentation. The better to catch the public eye, you see. Ceremonial accoutrements became ever more elaborate, while the scale of the events expanded exponentially. This series of escalations culminated in the development of extravagant festival processions. As he just stares, mouth agape. Summar summarize your suggestion, briefly. Three sentences or less. Feel that, boy. Per the chrysanthemum and the dango, some festivals in Hingashi are known for their parades. These parades involve carrying objects called mikoshi. We should attempt to imitate them. Fair enough. Let's do that then. See, you can do it if you try, if you expend the effort. Now from that now do that from the start next time. Sir, I'm sorry all the other fish are stupid. They're dumb. None of them know what a book is. So so, Ryder, you recall how I'm most portable, yes, yes. I must away to Kugane to see a Mikoshi and its construction firsthand. Go ahead and stuff me in your bag again, if you please. Okay. I'll just, yeah, I'll just put you in there. Well, weird pocket fish. Uh, control right click, I think? Hold on. Yeah, control right click and then a normal right click will take the mark off. Uh, we going to Kugane! Uh, after this we'll go gather in the diadem. Once we're done with beast tribes. Uh, we'll go gather in the diadem for a bit because I like that money. I like that Money! Get that gill! Uh, as you can see, I have gotten the, uh... The lamp viewing spot. I tried the tower climb. I, I got most of the way up the tower. I got to, like, here. And you have to get, like, from here up onto the roof. And it's a pain in the ass, and I couldn't do it. 
Uh, so I blue mage cheated. But I did it. Like, I did the tower climb. I just couldn't get all the way there. One day we are gonna go on a Vista tour. Uh, I'm almost done with Heavensward. But we'll, we'll do... I don't think I've done any of the Shadowbringers. I've done very few of the Shadowbringers ones, so maybe we'll do that at some point. That bag is most full of sharp objects and quite cluttered. I can hardly believe I escaped that rubbish pack purgatory. You're the one that wanted to go in there, bitch! I would have just carried you normally. Fucking sass me. Yeah, look at her. I'm pissed. I did not intend to say that out loud. No, no. What I meant was thank you. Yes, yes, of course. Bitch. Don't sass me. I'm gonna kick your Namazu ass. So this is Kugane. The vivid colors, the brilliant use, my artistic soul is all astir. Oi, you Namazu bastard. Mighty lovely to see you here. Now prepare for a beating. That's fair. Namazu and Kugane are a bitch. Who's gonna beat him up? Is this the cops? Oh no, these are just sailors. Thought you'd run off with me money, did ye? Well, you won't be running nowhere when I'm through with ye. This is the wrong Namazu. Wait, wait. Who are you? And why? Why are you yelling? Don't go playing silly buggers with me. Ye owe me for a ship. If I ain't seeing no coin from me, I'll take it out of your hide. Eh, this here's Gyoshin, not that swindler Gyoto. Yeah, Gyoto fucking sucks. Well, blow me down. My mistake, little fish fella. Yup, he is a little fish fella. Look at him, he's a, he's a whole lad. I am just relieved that this was all without beaten. I would much prefer to view the Mikoshi with my hide intact. Yes, yes. You're interested in Mikoshi? A Namazu after my own heart. You might not have heard, but it's shipwrecked slight us. Like us, what build Mikoshi here in Kugane? I'd hate to leave you with a bad impression, so how about I teach you what I know by way of apology? I would be most delighted, very pleased. Look at him wiggle. Look at him wiggling. Just head on over to the old Ufunakura, and then I'll show you everything there is to know. I think that's. I think I know where that is. I think I remember that. Though we're headed this way, which is not the way that I. Okay. Is it up here? Let's play a quick- I wanna play a quick triple triad. Uh, ooh, dissension. Dissension. Did I have a deck for dissension? I don't remember.
this girl's kicking my ass. I'm not gonna. I'm not dealing with that. Down here somewhere. Okay, this is where I thought I needed to be. There's one up there that I need to get. I can't quite figure out how to get it. Alright, so what you need to know first is that Mikoshi are meant to be carriages for the Kami. Of course, Kami usually reside in shrines where we earthly folk go to pray, but they also feel right at home in Mikoshi, which means Mikoshi are basically small shrines, you can? And since we carry them for festival parades, they need to be portable, so we attach some holes and there you have it, a proper Mikoshi. Now, Namazu, like yourself, have a short reach and are all round-like. So you'll need to put some thought into what you should attach to your Mikoshi to make it easy to carry. I see, this has been quite informative, most enlightening. I'll give you this diagram as well, so go out there and build the best Mikoshi your little flippers can manage. I love diagrams! And I'm most fond of design documents indeed. Let us return to Dohoro Ilo post haste. I will walk this time not to cast any aspirations on the state of your bag. No, no. Don't sass my bag. Like, you have to... Like, I can't figure out how to get over there. So you have to, like, walk these posts in a weird way. I'll probably look it up at some point, but... Do I need to... Can I walk on these things? I can! Oh. Why is Kugane all jumping puzzles? No! Why is Kukane all jumping puzzles? Why is it like this? Who thought this was a good idea? Here we go. We got it. Kukane, why are you like this? Why is it always jumping puzzles with you? There's like five jumping puzzles in Kugane. And since it's a city, you can't just fly to get to them. Pain the bud. I have meditated on how to build a Mikoshi suitable for Namazu needs. It will require some complex adjustments, some tricky alterations, but nothing my deft fins can't handle. Now I need you to make some components for the finishing touches. Colorful paints, yes, yes. The materials should be in the chest by the pavilion, so just whip some up slowly as so not to splatter. Yore will collect the components. Yes, yes, we will commence assembly once everything is in her capable fins. Was oh, she cute? Mikoshi frippery. Okay. Let's cook up some paint. Come back over here. Uh, Mikoshi frippery. Here we go. Does not need to be high quality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, then we'll turn these in. I hope Gyoshin's task gave you no trouble. He does tend toward the unreasonable. Yes, yes, that said, I'm excited to see the finished product. Well, I made them, so they're fine. I'm curious to see how this will prevent the Namazu from accidentally being wiped out in seven years. Yes, yes, our work is complete. A magnificent Mikoshi, fit for the big one. Shining at the top is our greatest grandsire, I saw, as I saw him in my vision. I have included several deeply significant, most meaningful bells to emphasize his importance. I also added Cloud's Breath to the shrine so that it will float atop the shoulders of even the roundest individuals. They are quite round. It is time to begin the parade, but we will not start without you, no, no. We will commence once you are ready. When you tell- when you tell me you are prepared. Aw, I like that they- they're including me, even though I don't worship their catfish grandpa. You are ready? According to that violent yet helpful shipwright, in some regions a participant is appointed to ride the Makoshi and represent the Kami. We would be honored to be- I am a fish. I have become catfish. Uh, guide the bearers around the festival grounds and make sure to cheer WASHOY as loud as you can in front of the onlookers. Or just sneeze with gusto, I find the effect is quite similar. Yes, yes, let me know how it goes. WASHOY! This I know is a mount that you, like, this is the mount that you get for completing this quest. So then I said, that's what you get for not checking the jar before you climb inside it. Yes, yes. I will... Washoi! 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 How exciting! I want to carry the whatever it is right now, immediately. Yeah, get under here. Do it. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, there they are. But I want to run around on it. Oh god, look, we're flying on it. I like that they just dangle. They just dangle off of it. Washoi! 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 What am I doing? I do not know. I do not care. Wee! We must have a turn holding that Washoi hut onward. They truly don't know what's going on. They're so stupid. I love them. And then we go back over here to Gyoshin. That was an inspiring sight, most captivating. I myself felt a strong urge to join the Mikoshi Bears, yes, yes, but Gyorai advised I channel my passion into crafting for the safety of all involved. That's probably good. Uh, that is when I remembered that the designs from Kugai included plans for a float. There is no better outlet for my inspiration, no, no. Which is not to say that I'm about to build a float right now. Which is to say that I am about to build a float right now. Watch me and do not blink. Uh, we'll grab one of those. Oh, it's pretty. Or is that the thing that I just made? Oh, we got a Tyco. Can I play the Tyco? Working side by side with the Namazu, you have completed the Mikoshi and the and a float. Parades honor sing, honoring the big one are underway. So how does this prevent them from dying in seven years? Because somehow that does happen. In seven years, there was fated to be a violent feud between Namazu factions over the right to use prime fishing spots along the one river. Many would have died. However, carrying the Mikoshi together in frequent parades over the course of seven years will bring the Namazu closer together, forging unbreakable bonds between clansmen. 
so they won't go to war with each other because we made them be friends. Uh, unbeknownst to all, the Namazu will be spared the grievous tragedy that could have consumed them, and their fate continues to change for the better. So we, we are actually, like, saving the Namazu from going extinct in seven years. Uh, you've achieved respected reputation within the 777. Every Namazu is, in fact, baby. They are incredibly stupid, and I will protect them with my life. Uh, new Namazu Beast Tribe daily quests are now available from Sekigetsu. Uh, furthermore, you'll be able to undertake three additional quests from Sekigetsu as a reputation bonus. Uh, the daily reset time. Okay. Uh, we have- okay. So we have three extra quests today. Patient touch increases quality. Okay. Um, let me just check and see. 64, 65, 64. We'll take them on blacksmith. Every Namazu is baby, except for the very first one you meet. That guy sucks. But the rest of them, all great. Oh, now, and now look, the, the things that we built, they're all here now. And he, look at him. Washoi, washoi. And he's just up here playing the taiko. He's just hanging out now. Because we built that. That wasn't there before. Remember how that was all empty? And now... That, that is the one thing I love about the the Beast Tribe quests. Um, I don't know if it's the way with all of them, but with, with the crafting ones, like, you really see stuff build up as you uh, do the quests and get through reputation. Okay, so we will have three allowances when this is done, and we'll probably go do them with the kobolds. Okay, let's go see what Gyotaku wants. You have come for a Mikoshi. Yes, yes, hop on board and honor those Zela gods with a rousing Namazu Washoi! I should buy the Washoi emote. I think it's cash shop only. Collision of cultures is this way. But I love this. I love that they just dangle. I want this mount. <laughs> Part of me wanting to finish the Namazu Beast Tribes is so that I can get this mount. Uh, this is why we have two Namazu in our free company house, because we love them. But they have a piggy bank instead of a cash register because we don't trust them with money. Wait, where did I- I passed it. <laughs> there it is. the goddess mines being buried in the sand like that. Anamazu would just dry right out, shrivel right up. We'll have to continue our visits and keep her company. Aw, that's sweet. That's sweet. Look at them. They respect her. They respect her. Our duty is done. Your washoi was wonderful, Ryder. Most devotational. Now we must present ourselves at the Dawn Throne. See you there. Yes, yes. Okay, Dawn Throne is... Up uh, is, uh that thing. Bum, 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 bum,
Oh, that's to get the mount back if you need it. Uh... Oh, it's not up here. You have to go down to the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's probably on the bridge. Yeah, there they are. What shy? <gasps> Look how excited they are! Uh, Namazu Pilgrim, do not be alarmed. We are Namazu from atop the towering still. We have put aside our festival preparations to come before the gods of the Azim Steppe to pay proper ob obeisance. As our friend here has demonstrated from atop the Mikoshi, a spirited Washoi is the Namazu way of showing respect. Washoi! I might think you come to insult us, but if the champion of the Nadam acts on your behalf, then we must accept the sincerity of your words. Yeah, the dragon people like me because I'm cool. Uh, thank you for accompanying these envoys. I saw only finned creatures flapping towards us and had thought catfish had dragged themselves up from the Azim Kat. I was close to kicking them into the water. That's fair, you could do that anyway, they'll be fine. And now we must return to our tasks. Peace be with you, and with you, Ryder. That's me. We too must return to our duties. Know that you are welcome to approach again should you wish to ent entertain- uh, honor us with another show of respect. Look, man, it's festival stuff. It's entertaining. Uh, and then I'll just take this to, uh... Oh, there is one up here. So we'll just take this back up here. Are you here for the Zohorn? No need to explain. The little squeaking fellow told me all about it. I have been a Zoherd for 20 years, as a boy and then a man. Yet never have I heard tell of their horns being fashioned into tools. When a Zo is slaughtered, nothing goes to waste, every part has value, so I si cannot simply give you what I you seek, I propose a trade. Zo are covered in thick, coarse hair, which cannot be allowed to grow too long. The shears wear down quickly and must be replaced. Take what you need from the box and craft new blades. Okay, that's not hard. I can do that for you, ma'am. Okay, sheer components, high quality. gonna be rough. I may have to switch to my higher level crafter for this. Switch to 
alchemist, which is my highest level crafter. And we will try this again. What do you mean? back to blacksmith. Give the man what he needs. Exactly what I was looking for. Your efforts are much appreciated. And now to fulfill my part of the bargain. Thank you, sir. Uh, please tell your friends that I would welcome similar exchanges in the future. No problem. Oops, sorry about that. I'm just moving stuff on my desk out of my way. My knees feel weak, and my arms so heavy I can't go on. No, not another step. You want me to carry you, baby? Am I supposed to give him? Firecrackers. Am I scaring him? Oh no! I don't want to scare him. What, what? How did I get here? Strange, I suddenly feel refreshed. Reinvigorated and ready to work. Well, I better be off. Yes, yes. Okay. I guess. Oh, there's several of them. Okay. I don't know what happened, but we'll take care of them. Whoa! Oh dear! I know how this looks. Actually, I don't, but I'm sure it's not good. I promise it won't happen again. No, no. You're okay, baby. I'm not mad. I don't even know what you're doing. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing out here. I'm just vibing. I just want that good crafter experience. There it is. Thank you, thank you. I feel so much better now. Yes, yes. If you'll excuse me, I'll be heading back to Dora Vila. Okay, I will be too, probably. Yep. Okay. So back to Dora Vila we go. You know what? We'll just spend the 144 kill. I don't feel like flying all the way back over there. for blacksmith. Uh, and our reputation with the Namazu is respected. We are respected by these little fishmen. 
Do I have any on? Oh, I have the Pixies unlocked in Shadowbringers. I don't want to deal with them today. Uh, we only have three left, so we're not going to do Vanu Vanu. Uh, so we will go... Hmm. I'm already maxed out with the Ixel until I do these and I'll unlock the Amalja and do them. Let's go, let's go do the kobolds, I guess. So they're in Limsa. I think they're out near Bronze Lake? Um, and they're a combat beast tribe. So we will switch back to Red Mage. Actually, I think Machinist is fine for them. It's not Bronze Lake. Where is it? Ah. Uh, never mind. Let's go to the Diadem. Let's go to the Diadem and make some money. first and see if I can pick up a couple more uh, pieces of gear for this. I need so a set tight. I have the gloves. It's just those three. Yeah, okay. That's not the, how you spell that. How do you spell it? A E S T H E T A. I can't remember how to spell S T H. of gathering. Boots of gathering. Okay. I can do that. Equip. And we'll get them on the botanist as well. Even though I'm not going to do botanist. Let's do a couple rounds in the diadem. Nope, nope, travel to the front of them. Got a little something to drink there. Oh, oh cap. Oh, Drop the cap from my water bottle. Hold on. Ow. I hit my head a little bit. It's fine. Travel to the diadem.
Okay, so we'll do a round in the diadem, and then, uh, I'll go look up, uh, collectibles. Get some scripts. Oh, I forgot to sell all these damn fish. Diadem is such good money. It's also great experience, but, like, my two gatherers are at 80 at this point. Uh, so we've got about 40 minutes until ocean fishing, so we can probably make a round of the diadem, uh, then go do ocean fishing. I love, I love the diadem. It's, it's just, it's so comfortable here. Chat was, diadem shout chat was pretty spicy yesterday though. It got, it got a little bit spicy at times. It can sometimes be a little bit spicy on here, depending who's in the instance. Let's be honest, when is it- Okay, it- It is often very spicy if you are in the Limsa Ate the Right Plaza. Most other places, I- I haven't had a problem with it getting very spicy. Yeah, walking into Limsa- When Limsa's crowded, uh, it can- Especially on Lamia, there's some pretty spicy people. Who hang out in Lamia's uh, Wimsay, the right plaza. But I think just because here, like, you've got time kind of between gathering nodes, it's very easy to just kind of get into a conversation with people. And it can be a little spicy. I mean, just a, a tad spicy. talking about. With the tear gas. I don't know what you're referring to. I mean that people will be, like, horny in the shout chat. Uh, late night shopping in them is scary, I definitely have to walk past people with ERP. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Um, I've never had that happen. I feel like on Lamia, if that happens, most people keep it to, like, a special, a special, like, link shell or something. But I've I've seen some spicy conversation in the 
in the diadem shout chat. You'd think I'd have these memorized by now, but I don't. Uh, my Friday's been pretty good. I basically got up, had lunch, and came on stream. Uh, so this has pretty much been my entire Friday thus far. Uh, I have some stuff I want to do after stream. Uh, do level 80 mats sell well, or the leveling mats more desirable? I don't know what they are. I have some podcasts that I need to edit. Uh, thankfully, they're just my podcasts, so it's not a big deal that I haven't... that they've kind of piled up. two podcasts actually. I have a Common Rider podcast and a Sentai. I've had I've been on these podcasts for like seven years. Um I have a Rider podcast and a Sentai podcast uh that I produce and host. Uh they're they're fun. We we go over shows episode by episode. Uh so I mean, if you're not following along with a with a rider or sentai, um, that's really if you're interested in like a, a critical analysis, an episode by episode critical analysis. That's what we do on our shows. Uh, it's it's just a fun way to get to talk about them. It's fun. Uh, I've been doing those since, I don't know, maybe 2014? I've been doing them for a long time. Hey, Captain, welcome back. Uh, we, we did some Beast Tribes. Uh, now we're just kind of vibing in the Diadem uh, until 2 o'clock, which is about half an hour from now. Um, and then we're going to do Ocean Fishing again. I have to clear out all of these fish from the last one still, uh, but we'll do ocean fishing again because I could use the experience for my fishermen. There it is. I hit the button before I saw it on my minimap. Uh, but I, I like doing, you know, one or two rounds of, of diadem a day, so you can get you can get a good like two hundred thousand from that. And right now I keep spending all my money on level eighty stuff for my gatherers because I'm trying to become a useful crafter gatherer.
Once my alchemist hits 80, I'm gonna go into the market selling candles. Cause that shit... You can make some money with that shit. Uh, and I need to sell cookies. I need to get my, my culinarian up and sell cookies. I need to get back to doing the journals. Cause that's good experience too, but I'm lazy. The journals require doing a lot of raids, and I just don't like doing raids with strangers. So like, journals, journals are good when you've got like a group of like six friends that you can do journals with. Like, my, my big group that usually plays, uh, none of them are playing right now. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. I do, I do actually do that a lot, but I'm lazy. Sleepy. A little bit sleepy. You give me that time of day where I like want a nap all the time. Diadem does make me sleepy, though. Like, it's just- Diadem is so relaxing.
this way? Right, this way. I usually I don't nap because my problem is when I nap I end up up all night and it fucks up my whole sleep schedule. I can sleep during the day, I just shouldn't. So I try to avoid it. Though sometimes I just need to lay down. I just need to lay down in the middle of the day. Sometimes it just be like that. Stone has been the big seller among things that I have mined in the diadem lately. fire is over, I need to check on the price of the pinwheels. Uh, cause I gathered up a lot of them. I bought so many of them. Cause they were selling for like 600 each. And it's like, I really don't collect effect things, but people who go in really hard on GPOs, uh, they, they use those a lot, so... Like, event ones, when the event is over, you can get a decent amount for them, usually. I need to check on that later. Fuzzy fur! I love Lollafell sized mounts. Wallafell size mounts are so funny. It's around the back of this tree. I fucking love elms, yalms, and malms. That's so fucking funny to me. Oh, there it is. Yalms is especially funny. I don't know why yalms is the one that really tickles me. There we go. Now keep 
keep track of where I am. So we've got three, I think we can do three more islands in the next like 10 minutes. quiet today. It's well it's it's pretty early in the day. I shouldn't be too surprised. <gasps> Hello! Hello Death God. Uh thank you for coming over from TikTok. I saw you there. I noticed things. Uh I am doing pretty well. We are just vibing uh in the diadem in Final Fantasy 14. We are just relaxing. We're having a nice relaxing trip around the diadem. Uh, and then we're in about 20 minutes, we're gonna do some ocean fishing. Uh, you know, we're just relaxing. How's your day been? How are you doing? How's it going? Uh, I promise there will be more TikTok content soon. I, I've got plans. I've got plans for things. I just have to do them. I saw. I, I keep an eye on I keep an eye on the, the people who follow me from TikTok and I saw. I saw that it, it lined up. I'm glad you could make it. I'm glad you could make it today. I hope you're having a good day. We're all, we're all relaxing too. I'm, I'm taking it easy. Uh, I've got a little work I want to do later. Oh, I will. I will hydrate. Thank you. I haven't in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we, we are at 100% vibes today. And that's just the way it should be on a Friday, right? Oh, I will. I will pet one of my cats uh, the next time they come in here. I don't know where either of them are right now. Uh, Chase was in here before. I don't know where he is now. Uh, we have hydrated. Okay. I'm gonna leave that for when my cats come back. They will. They will get... They will get such good pets when one of them comes in here. I just don't know where either of them are at the moment. Because uh, they're usually not in here in the afternoon. Where is it? There it is. Uh, it's usually, usually around like 3 they come in and bother me. Because, uh, their dinner is at four. So that's, around three, they usually come in and be like, Hey, are you thinking about giving us dinner? And I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about it, but it's not gonna happen for another hour. And that's generally how it goes. Uh, okay, we've got 15 minutes. I think we can, I think we can get through this. Get through the diadem, uh, sell off these fish we got last time. Just to clear them out of my inventory. I cannot wait for Endwalker. I'm so excited for Endwalker. I wanna- I wanna be a sage! I want to be a sage so bad. I want to be a sage so heckin' bad. 
I'm really excited to get back into healing. Where am I going? Is this not the- this isn't the inside of the log. Can we not go inside that log? Yeah, I'm really- I'm just- I'm very excited to see- oh, it's this log, okay. I'm just- I'm very excited to see what they bring uh, to level 90 stuff. I'm excited to see, like, what the story is going to include. I'm very excited for Moon. Moon? Moon bunnies? Little bunnies on the moon? That's gonna be fun. They're probably... I could imagine them being the uh, crafting beast tribe for Endwalker. It was little- it was little moon bunnies, it was the elephants. Did they announce other beast tribes? Did they announce another one? Honestly, I don't even remember the- the beast tribes in Shadowbringers. I know it's the dwarves, the- and the pixies. Is it just the dwarves and the pixies? Is there- is there another one? I feel like there should be another one. It's usually three, isn't it? Because for, uh, Stormblood, it's the Namazu, the Ananta, and what's the other one? What is the other one for Stormblood? Because for, for Heaven's Word, it's the Moogles, the Vanu Vanu, and the, uh, the little, little, little bug dudes. The Vath. Or are the Vath Stormblood? No, I think the Vath are, are Heaven's Word. Because that was Ravana. I'm pretty sure that's Heaven's Word. There's so many things that I just mix them all up at this point. It's so hard to keep track of everything. My, my brain a little bit scrambled. A little bit scrambled, uh... You know how it is. I got that extra, extra crispy... Extra crispy brain. crispy, you know? Like, are we- I am gonna be doing MSQ for Endwalker on stream. Uh, I'm very, very excited for that. I'm very excited to do MSQ on stream. Uh... It- it should be so cool. And we're just- we're just gonna go, like, all fucking in. 
I'm gonna do like long ass MSQ streams. Maybe like six to eight hour MSQ streams. Maybe maybe longer. I don't I don't wanna promise anything, but like I can I can run a lot of MSQ at once. But that's not for another like Two months. Two, three months. Three months. September, October, November. So, there's plenty of time before that. So we're just gonna, until then, we're gonna be leveling. I mean, that's fair. Um, but until then, we're just gonna be leveling as many things as we can. Uh, I really just, I really wanna work on my crafters. Like, I should honestly work on more of my combat classes and getting them to at least 50 so I can do a full set of roulettes on them. But... I just wanna- I wanna level my crafters. I just wanna do my crafters. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes, let me just sell off all of these fish from the last one. Because fish don't sell very well on the market board, so it's easier to just dump them this way. all the fish that we had. So we'll go from here back to Limsa. Maybe find our leaf. Yes. Get a good stretch in. Report to Limsa. Good stretching. And we will hydrate. There we go. Uh, we'll take the Aetherite to the Arcanist Guild. And get ourselves back down here. Oh, we've still got fireworks for, for the rising. That's nice. Okay. And then we've got seven minutes. So we'll dance. Uh, okay, 78 fishing. So we can probably get to... S maybe like... 
halfway through 79? And then maybe I will- now that I got a thing that'll let me spear the same fish? Uh, we may be able to do the... This fishing quest that I've got. Bountiful catch. The number of items obtained on your next spear fishing attempt. Fish type in your gathering rating. Some fish cannot be double speared. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll try... This is a level 68 quest, but we'll be at 80, so... I will attempt... Ooh, is there a repair? There is a mender. Cool. Ooh, not purchase items. I don't need to purchase anything. Uh, repair gear. Prince, what? That's so cute. We'll get a little pets. Get a little pets. It's a little baby. And just a little baby. Baits. I need to do something about all this. Ugh, I don't want to grind fates. I need to finish my relic weapons, but I don't want to grind fates. Oh my god, and then to do other relic weapons, I will have to keep grinding fates. I don't want to do it. Because it's either grind fates or go through Bosja. I fucking hate Bosja. I don't. Bosja is not fun for me. Sell these? Yeah, I did. Uh, I've got four minutes, I can sell them real quick. There we go. Clear out some extra inventory space. I think I'm holding on to these for. I could probably just sell these, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm doing the Shadowbringers relic weapons, but I, I honestly, I don't know the, the other, how to do the other expansion relic weapons. Um, I have, I think I started a Heavensward one? I think I started a Heavensward one, but I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what class I was doing it for. Uh, but you need to be, like, 71 to to start doing them, the Shadowbringers ones. Uh, so, I don't know, once you, once you get there, we can grind fates. But you need, like, a lot of people to grind fates. And Boz, Boz is just, just not fun. I just don't find Bosja fun at all, and I don't want to do it. Two minutes. Sorry about that. I pass my hands in front of my face, which messes up the capture a little bit, and it makes me like.
Though I think they did make the drop rate for the fates a little better with the last, like, patch update they did. So I could probably... I could probably chuck Party Finder for shit, but uh, not right now. We're doing ocean fishing! Up, oh, everyone's coming over. Okay, so we got like 30 seconds. Do it. this guy. Plump crow plump, okay. Thirteen with a three three thing bite, that's a lot. Oh god, here we go. Damn, this is this is pretty early too. We can at least do the sharks though. Man, we just caught three fucking sharks in a row, so I think this is doable at least.
one more shark. We got that one so early. Like, I'm used to getting them closer to the end of an area. Shark, though. We can probably do it, though. There's still two more areas. We got our, our last shark. I don't know if we can get 13 ferocious bites. That's a lot. be using that.
we get? What do we get? What do we get? More, more, more! There's also a shark mount you can get from this. I think you have to get like 10,000 points. Which like for that, I just really gotta learn how to do this the right way. good with the, the bigger bites here.
Okay, but we're more than halfway there. We could maybe do it. We could get real lucky. Oh, we're on eight. Eight out of thirteen. That's not that's not too bad. We don't need five more. get the third one. I don't know if we will, but it could maybe happen. I'm not sure my points will be high enough to get the Major General, but, you know. Dark Nautilus. Same question previously caught, okay.
doing good. I'm sure Barra Mundi. pretty well. Wonder if we'll have enough points. Or... Almost at 4,000 points. Last cast. Last cast to the trip. We're over 4,000 points. We got two, uh, two things finished. We got two spectral seas, spectral currents. This is a pretty good trip. We hit seven we hit level seventy nine. Look at them all sleeping. Okay, let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. Sixty percent. Ah, sixty five hundred. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay, so that's- we're- we're pretty far into 79. Let's go out and try and do... Let me look up where this fish is.
34. Are we sure? That doesn't seem right. Sorry on it. Actually, this does seem familiar as to where I was trying to do this last time. here. So I need to get ichthyosaurs. Okay. Should be like right there. There it is. Please, sir. 
I just need... I need an ichthyosaur. junk. Ichthyosaur. Okay, so I have gotten one before. So I've not gotten it here? So it's here, I just have to have to do it. Thank you. 
Okay, so they are here. Oh, shadows begin to take shape. Okay. What? Oh, begin to take shape. Okay, so I probably have to do... What am I at? Four, five, seven, eight. A few more. So we've got two. Come on, one more. One more. Yes, I'm free.
Okay. So let's get this fishing quest taken care of. Sometimes when you're flying, if your camera's at a weird angle, it'll just point you all wonky for the rest of eternity. And by the rest of eternity, I mean until you land and fix the camera. From the gleam in his eye and the grip on his trident, I gather Gov's got a good thing going there. How fair are you in your fishing efforts? Gov. Fine fishing rider, yes, these are the Da Feng Shi, beyond a dram of a doubt. They made themselves manifest while you were engaging your eyes on other fish, you say. Curious comportment indeed. Any road, I'm relieved to report that Gov spearfishing has also provided a spectacular success. With this, we should have enough to reel in the Kojin, figuratively speaking, and entice them to engage with the Isari anew. So let's carry our catch back to Isari and convince the villagers to let us carry on with the plan. Uh, I'd ask you to go alone. Uh, that's fine. Good stretching. I hope y'all are having a nice, relaxing afternoon. I just want to check, check on Twitter uh, while we have a second. I got to see all the other Manticore VTubers recently. There's like six of us. I love you, Manticore Squad. If you happen to be watching or see this, I love you. Chew. Give you smooch. Mwah. Just for the Manticores. That one's just for the Manticores. Yeah. I know there's, um, shoot, what's his name? Who I think is a hedgehog. Frick. He does a lot of Sonic streams. I can't remember his name at the moment. Festival, but the Kojin would never entertain our plea. Well, good for you. I've got three of them. You went all the way to Yanja to catch it? Yeah, man, whatever. It ain't a thing. Don't worry about it. I like the Kojin, I like you. I want y'all to hang out. Uh, okay. 
And we will go to Tamamizu. Water orb. I will go to the water orb. Okay, he's a Sahagan. Sahagan are neat little fish boys. I like them. It would be my honor to join you in reviving the festivities. Good, because that was hard. I'm ashamed to admit this, but I'm somewhat younger than my appearances might suggest, and my knowledge of the Wadatsumi is limited. Uh, time to seek the wisdom of my elders. Okay, that's fine. Speak the word! I will do anything to see the shooting star- There should be an S- Whatever. Back to Lenosha. Back to Limsa. My homeland. Fisherman's Guild. Fisherman's Guild. There we go. Oh, he's, he's always over here. what we have. Bountiful catch, okay. Twelve, you say? This should put us over. Speak with Reina and Kugane. Let's go to Kugane. gonna dance with this man's for a second. Me and me and this sexy dragon boy are gonna dance together for a hot minute. While I drink some more water.
Master Hoalaga's already gone on ahead to Isari. I don't know who that is. Uh, even with his terrible brother wreaking havoc back in the Holy Sea, he said he couldn't bear to miss it. What? Okay. I don't really know what's going on here, but sure. A slightly dumb mistake, but I think it's okay. I just have to go back through that cave. And that should actually put me pretty close to where I need to be. It's the Oni Island from Momotaro. Oh, there's lightning. Ooh. There we go. Let's see. Come on, show me some lightning. Yeah, that's heaven on high, uh, which I've not run at all. Uh, consummate celebration of cooperation and camaraderie one between beastmen and beast. Kojin, that's the other one. It's the Kojin, the Ananta, and the Namazu are the Stormblood. I forgot. I, I don't think of the Kojin as a beast tribe, even though they're turtle men. Uh, join the Kojin beneath the billowing waves. When I give the signal, swim after the plesiosaurs and push them in close proximity to Onopora. Okay. My friends and fellow fishers, when the stragglers stray near the surface, lower your lures and reel them in with reckless abandon. I'm skeptical that even the most accomplished among us will be able to angle in even one of these big fish, uh, with the extraordinary exception of you, because I'm great, we know. I'm counting on you to prove Wallalago prescient and procure a healthy haul of those plesiosaurs. And where ex five of them? Excuse me? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me look up where they are. Live shrimp or brain war, which I don't think I have either of. Please, merchant, have what I need. Uh, purchase items. Life shrimp. Okay. Twenty two eleven.
10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Okay. Like, that's a decent stretch that I'm unfortunately almost at the end of. For, thank you for hopping in. Thank you for coming by. We're fishing. We are fishing. Uh, I am actually, because I finished the last quest I was doing. So, I think technically I am. But I do only have like five minutes to catch these fish. Good night, Captain. You have a good one. I'll see you next time. Um, we're almost at level 80 for fishing, so that's good. And then I need to look up what a good fishing hotbar looks like. Because I have no idea. Absolutely! I would love to, Roxy. I would 1000% love that. I would love to do a collab with you. Manticore Squad. Yeah, I did a... Uh, I did a bot. We did two ocean fishing runs today, I think? Yes, absolutely. DM me about it. I would love to. Uh, we did two ocean fishing runs, and I think that got us from 76 to 79. Uh, now I'm just doing some job quests, uh, and that'll... That'll push me up to 80. Uh, man, catching these, these high quality, ferocious bite fish is uh, rough. Yeah, it is. It's it's like the one thing for culinarian that you like need. You need to be able to get fish. Um, we did some beast. We did some crafting beast tribes to uh, push my crafter levels up a little bit. Most of my crafters are in like the fifties and sixties, and then I've got alchemist at seventy. I should actually go unlock dwarf beast tribes. Dang. Um, I, yeah, I think you can do potions, um, there are, I think you make, you can do, um, the summoner scholar weapons as an alchemist, um, there are some housing items, uh, the reason I, I leveled alchemist so far is I wanted to get alchemist to 80 so I could make candles, uh, one, because I wanted to put some in my free company house, but also... Um, they sell for a lot on the market board. Uh, but yeah, Alchemist, I think, does, does potions and stuff, but there are, like, these little clumps of candles that are a housing item that sell for, like, so fucking much. So, I'm, I'm trying to save for a medium plot. Oh, what did I do? Did I fuck up? 
Um, because I want to get a plot in the mist for a personal house. And I'm hoping that when Ishgard housing opens, I'll be able to try and grab one. Ooh. Like, getting your crafters up is a great way to make money. Is really the thing. Uh, we did some di we did a diadem lap uh, to do some gathering because that that's good money. I'll probably do some more later tonight before D and D if I have time. Ooh, eel! It's an eel. Uh, right now, are we doing Ice Spire? I think we're doing Ice Spire. So right now I'm doing, I'm playing an Arakakra. Um, I also have a Tabaxi. I have a Yuan Tea that I play. I have a Tiefling that I play. Um, I have an Azamar that I've rolled, but I haven't done anything with yet. Uh, she's pretty new. Uh, but right now, I- yeah, my Tiefling is who I've played the longest. Uh, she's for my Sunday game. Uh, and she's a little- she's a little- she's a little gremlin, I love her. Uh, she's a monk. She's dumb as a sack of hammers. She likes hitting things. I love her. I love her. Wild is- is wonderful. Um, I love all- I love all of my D&D characters, though. I love, man, Oro honestly has, was some of the most fun. Though Song, 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 who is my, uh, my tabaxi, he's also very, very fun to play. Dress is a good DM. I tried DMing for this group once and I can't DM. It was, it was too scary. It was too much for me. Come on, be a plesiosaur. Oh, but it's not high quality. I hate the high quality fishing, it's so hard. You know, the, the water deep stuff is some of the most fun that I've had. I loved, I love our water deep campaign. I'm excited for when we get to go back to it, but I, I love I love all of our campaigns, honestly. They're all really good. Yeah, thankfully I don't have to mooch for this one, but oh my god, it's when you have to mooch, it sucks. Same with spear fishing when you have to get a high quality like shadow one. Like, that's a pain in the butt, too. Tatsunoko! Fat snake! Fat snake! Thankfully, like, I was able- the last one was a high-quality, like, spear- shadow spear fishing one, and thankfully I was able to get them all out of one spot. But this is a pain in the butt! This is such a pain! Like, oh my god, why is this- why is this so much? Like, why is it five? Why couldn't it have just been three again? At least then I'd feel like I'm almost done.
And I'm sure I could be fishing in a way that's better than I am. I need- once I hit 80, I'm gonna look up the good- the good fishing strats. Like, get a good hot bar together. And just learn how to how to do this better than I am. Okay, come on, please. Please be high quality. Please. Yes. I will! I will do both those things. One, my cats aren't in here right now, but I will- I will reserve a pet for you. I will reserve a good- a good pettings for you, uh, next time I see one of them. I don't know where they are right now, but... <laughs> they should be in here soon, honestly. Usually between 3 and 3.30 is when they start bothering me, uh, to give them dinner, because their dinner is at 4. I'll do a quick hydration. Glass flounder. We're so close. We're so close to 80. At least then I'll be able to switch my gear to to my level 80 gear. Maybe that'll go a little faster. And then I gotta look up all the materia that I need to meld onto this. I don't really know what's different about Mooch 2. Let me look at Mooch 2 for a second. Use any fish to attract even larger prey. So it's it's the same. It just has a cooldown for some reason. And costs GP. I don't- I don't totally understand. What is my neighbor doing? Oh my god. Why is my neighbor like this? I mean, at least right now is a reasonable hour to be doing whatever it is he does over there, but it's annoying. He's got like a bandsaw going every hour of the day. I should have hidden a cave that was a little further away from humanity. Dang, we lost it. I mean, it's, the thing is, they they put an addition, a two-story addition, onto their house, and it they're just never done. They're just never done, and I don't know why he's like got to do this every freaking hour of the day.
come on, I only need two more. I just want to hit 80. only bought 50. I need to sell off some of these fish that are in my inventory. My inventory is getting full. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I don't know how much that time period actually matters, but I do want to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. There... okay. There are traders over there. My job levels at the moment, uh, for my crafters, you can see they're mostly uh, 50s and 60s, 70s, I'm almost done over here. Uh, for this, I have a handful of 80s, um, my red mage is at 79, all of my Rome Reborn classes, most of my Rome Reborn classes, I haven't done a whole lot with, so they're kind of a mess. Yeah, the past year-ish, uh, this was pretty much what I did because I couldn't leave the house. Uh, but yeah, my, my Rome were born classes, you can see, are a disaster. Um, but Dancer is my main, uh, Scholar was kind of my, my other main. I was maining Scholar until I made Dancer. Uh, I was leveling Samurai for a while and got it to 80, uh, then I started on Red Mage. I want to get everything else to at least 50 before Endwalker. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, it's, it's really a pain before any class gets to 50 because then you can't use roulettes. Like, you have to really... Like, at 16 you can do leveling, but everything else you gotta wait till, like, 50. And it's just like, okay. And I'm, I'm not patient enough. So I want to get everything at least to 50 before Endwalker, so that once Endwalker hits, I can just kind of power level them in between doing other stuff. Just like run roulettes constantly. So, you know, it's just a matter of doing it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'd like to- I, I don't want to use level skips, is the thing. I don't want to use, I don't want to use level skips, uh, but you only, how many, uh, guild leaves do I have? I know I have a lot of them, like, saved up. I don't know where I would see that. I think I have to, like, go to a leave mate. Um, you, like, you get so many a day, but they roll over to a certain amount. I think you can, like, save up a hundred of them. Hi, Kaiden! Hello! Thank you for coming by! Uh, repair all. Repair my gear. Me. Oh, he's just a mender? Oh, there's the merchant. 
I just want to get all these fish out of my inventory. Um, okay, so... No, that's the ichthyosaur, which I don't need. Are they in here, too? Yeah, we'll just get these out. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you, I... I, it was funny to me because she has a pompadour. So my brain was like, Kisaragi! And then my brain was like, Ryder? Okay, um, where is the thing that I, I need to not sell? Giant Plutonosaur. Okay, that can go down there. Yes! Uh, my chocobo's name is Masigler. Uh, that is- Forze is the joke. Uh, so she's- she's intentionally, uh, Forze named. Not so much themed, but named. Cause like, I- I wanted the pompadour. And the pompadour, I'm like, Kisaragi. It's gotta be. Uh, and then just Ryder Kisaragi sounded good to me. It just had a good sound. Just get rid of all these dang fish. We've got so many fish. Unfortunately, my Dome and Enclave is, is already taken up for the day. Yes! There is! Uh, you can't see it right now. Hold on. Let me just get out of this. Uh, and I can take my hat. Oh no, not visor. Hat. Oop. Uh, oop -a -doo. And there she go. There she go, with her pompadour. She looks amazing. I'll leave the hat turned off for now. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, I need to listen to more more Kishidan at some point. Because I really like the ghost opening. And they look awesome. Like, I, I, they seem real cool. Okay. Uh, I'm still on the right bait. But it's more like Dentro's. Yeah, uh, this one's this one's more the puffy one. I just want to get these last two plesiosaurs. don't know what Mooch 2 is is for. I don't under really understand the difference between it and Mooch 1, except that it triggers at a different time. I do want to see something, though. Precision hook set is inefficient hooking. Release list. Collect. Ready is the catch to retain as a collectible? I've got all these like things that I don't know what they're for. Fish eyes? Um, so identical cast. That's not quite what I want. Okay, I don't know. I was hoping there was a thing that would be like, you, you automatically get like a two or higher. Like a, a, a strong bite or a ferocious bite instead of the weak bite ones. But I don't think there's a thing like that. Uh, 
I just want to get my fish into 80. I'm so close. Or what, like 500,000 away? Perhaps? No! What? I don't understand how to use those. Because it just makes me reel my thing in. Oh, do I have to do it when the thing bites? I'll try that. done it. We've hit 80. Get all the good gear on. Okay. I just need one more. We just need one more. I feel bad for all of the, like, job quest experience that now is gonna go nowhere, but... We did it! We did it! We have... All three of them at 80. All three of them. I'm so excited. Now I just have to get some some of the gear still uh, and get materia onto them. I have to look up what's good for that. But we did it! I have all three of my gatherers to 80. That feels good. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Now I can just focus on leveling my crafters. It's a, it's a good, good vibes. Let me just get this last damn fish.
We did it, gamers. Oh, so H just does the reeling. Okay. Okay, I'm finally understanding this. No, it's not high quality. No. We're so close. Come on. Give me the damn fish. We've done it. We've done it. We're free. We have achieved freedom. Bum, 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 bum. I love these big horror walruses. They're terrifying, and I kind of love them. Okay, let's turn in this fishing quest. fishing friend, but good gods, the tales had it true. These things are more fiend than fish, but you've felled five of them. I felled more than fucking five of them. Just only five of them were quality. The rest were trash. Trash fish, I say. Haha, -ha, now there's a hearty hall if I ever eyed one. I dare say no doubt there's no doubt the deities of the deep are duly delighted with our deeds. This man is trying to kill me. Giving me these damn uh alliteration. I like that top. That's what I use for my healer, except it's white and red. I'll show you all my healer glamour in a second, it's great. Haha! <laughs> Swimming through the seas with reckless abandon, I've not had so much fun at a festival in years, but I have one question. When is the next one? Twenty minutes from now. I don't know. Aha! That's the spirit. By repeating the ritual on a regular basis, we can protect the seas from overproliferation of predators and see that smaller fish like the Harutsuge have a halcyon habitat to call home. But you don't want them to overpopulate either, is the thing. It's a balance. I hate when Lollafells have facial hair. It scares me. They're too small. They're too baby. They're too baby for a mustache like that. Well, it pleases me as much as any festival was a success and peace returns to the seas. I fear I see no sign of the shooting stars. This man's trying to kill me also. Forgive me, Master Wawalago, but I would face the truth with my own eyes. What truth? I forget what we're doing. I see the Sahagin lads as serious as ever. Why don't you dive into the depths with him? Regardless of what he sees, I reckon he'd appreciate it if you accompanied him. Okay. <laughs> it's the one thing I love about Ryder is someone's like, Hey, why don't you go do this? And she's just like, okay. And she just does it. And that's how she saved the world, like, four times.
It's no use. Even down in the depths, they are nowhere to be seen. Were we too late? Were our best efforts all for naught? I'm not doing the hiss. No, fish man. We'll make it happen. I don't know what it is, but we'll make it happen. That's a fish! Behold, Ryder, they have come, the shooting stars. I guess they're a fish? I really wasn't sure what we were looking for. I've had too much time between these quests. They are still young, only hatchlings, but look at the sheer numbers of them. Yes, they will grow large and strong, and soon the seas will shine bright once more. Okay. Can I put one in my mouth, though? The shooting stars have survived and in numbers beyond my wildest dreams, and with the ranks of their predators called, we are they are free to make the journey across the Ruby Sea. And yet in time, the plesiosaurs will return and the shooting stars will once again be threatened with extinction. There must be something we can do. You, you, you hold a yearly festival to eliminate them. We need only see the festival is held frequently enough to keep the population of plesiosaurs carefully in check, as it was before the Garleans barged in and bungled everything up. That is what the Garleans do. That is truly their way. I, for one, would be honored to partake in the festivities any time, both to reaffirm the bonds we share with our Isari friends and to ensure the survival of the Harutsuge, whose beauty I have now witnessed with my own eyes. You weren't down there. You didn't come with us. You have my thanks, friend. You need only say the word, and my fellow Sahagin will swim here to join you. I'm glad we've bonded with all of the ocean folk. I may not possess your spearfishing skills, Ryder, but my passion to protect the shooting stars is second to none. I will do everything in my power to see that the legacy you've helped create lives on. Yay! That makes me happy. Man and beast man, united by an undying devotion to the denizens of the depths. Is, is that water in my eye, or am I welling up? In any event, we've effected a change on the oceans today, a change that will, in turn, come to have consequences for generations to come. Shave that mustache. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. Oh, Nero. I, I both love and want to bully Nero. <laughs> Uh, but that's a story, but it's not told sober. What say we send for some spirits and samples of some of this sashimi that the East is famed for? Man, I want sushi. I want sushi. Probably not tonight, but I want sushi. Oh, she back. I fear you're going to be facing more immediate consequences for your actions today, Wawalago. Oh dear. She gonna get him. She gonna bully him. I'm well aware of how you worry for me so, but you shouldn't have to sail straight across- Hmm? Why the frightful frown on that fetching face of yours? Are they married? Do you not remember my words the other day a while ago? I thought I made myself quite clear. I said that if you wanted to take a leave of absence to join your friends on some adventure, all you had to do was say the word. Then I hear nothing from you for days, and when I went to your usual perch in Fisherman's Bottom, do you have any idea how worried I was? Dude, you should tell your wife when we're gonna go do a thing. I swear that I said, or it could be that I was so absorbed with anticipation that I was remiss in apprising you of my intent to embark on this adventure. Buddy, you gotta learn to call your wife. You gotta tell her these things. Wasn't it you who always told me to never uh, neglect one in need? Oh god, here, but here they go. Get him, girl. Get him. Delightful.
Okay, well, I guess I finished my, my fishing quests. Because it doesn't seem like there's another one. Um, okay, so... Look at that. Look at them all. How lovely. Uh, let me take this off the map. Wherever it was. There it is. Okay. How are we looking? Okay. It's almost... It's almost five hours. Okay, we could do 15 more minutes. We could do 15 more minutes to, uh... Push us over five hours, and <laughs> I think we'll call it a day. Uh, let me go... Pick up some gill from my retainers. Yup, I wanna... Especially since my Wednesday stream got cut a little short because I was having connection issues. Uh, oh, there's my cat. Come here, baby. Come here. I owe people some pets. There we go. There we go. Hello, baby. Yes, give you lots of pets for everyone that redeemed. Redeemed pets. Good boy. This isn't where I wanted to go. He's gonna go sit over there. Okay. I was gonna see if I could get him to come up on the desk. Uh... I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think I do. I have, I have uh, Verizon Wireless. Fios. Fios. That's what they call it. Um, I think it was just a- I think it was just a weather thing. Sometimes it can be weird. Every now and then it gets a little funky. I can show you my free company house. This is our yard. Uh, let me get get in here. Uh, this is our yard. I am primarily responsible for decorating. Uh, my friend who uh, runs our free company. Hold on. I'm trying. My I got a text message that I need to look at. Okay, uh, so we set- thank you! Uh, we'll go back there in a sec, but this is, uh, we set up- we liked the little mask stalls, uh, so we set up a couple of those. We unfortunately have a small plot, so we could only have one retainer out. I wish we could have two so we could have them man these little booths. But we wanted to set up a little, like, festival area. And then, you can come through, and you can sit on our patio, and eat some pizza. From our pizza oven. We also put a lamp in the tree. Um, let me see if I can find a good angle where you can see it. There we go. You can kind of see it there. Um, so that there's some light back here uh, when it's dark. Let me just click through there. And I'll take you inside. Oop, let me turn this back on. Enter the estate hall. Again, I'm... I primarily did all of the decorating. It's not amazing. It's not like one of those like amazing housing instances, but I'm pretty proud of what we have done. Uh, here are Namazu. You can uh, buy things from them. Uh, we don't, they have some corn. We gave them a piggy bank instead of cash registers like our other merchants because we don't trust them with money. I do think it's very cute. I love our houses, but it's not- I love our house, but it's not, like, one of those wild ones. Um, so this is our- our Lalafell. You can buy- I think she- we- we have her, like, a little, like, food stand, but she does, uh, general- general things. Uh, and then over here we have our menders. They're married. You have a little dragon lady and a big snake lady. And I love them very much. Uh, so they have a, their little their little mending stall and you can buy flowers from them. Uh, oh god, it took me a couple months to do all of it. Uh, this room, we actually got settled pretty quickly. Um, this hasn't changed much since I first started. Because uh, up here is really the thing that I wanted to do. Is I wanted this little, like, 
lounge where we could come and eat snacks, and we have all of our toys and our radio and some fish tanks. Uh, so you can come sit up here. Uh, I think this took me maybe like a week. The basement has gone through several iterations. Um, so the basement took a long time, but I'm very pleased with it. Uh, we have all of our our toys and trophies in a display at the bottom of the stairs. You can sit here and have some tea and some snacks next to all the plants and the books. You can come sit here and eat a meal and look at the fish or watch TV. Uh, this is the weed corner. You come in here for weed. This is just a little like a little private quiet place with plants. Uh, and then over here is our shrine to Merlwyn. Our lesbian pirate goddess. This is where all our booze is kept as tribute to the big pirate lady. Uh, originally our basement was completely empty and there was a painting of someone here and it was supposed to be like a memorial. She is mommy. Oh my god, she is. Um, but I didn't know who it was, so I kept putting the painting of Merwib over him. Uh, him. Uh, and then eventually I expanded it, but this is our base- our, like, finished basement. Our goofy finished basement. Uh, so I'm very pleased with it, it's very comfy. Uh, and then I will show you my room, which I'm very, very proud of. I'm very proud of the, uh, the work I did here. Uh, so this is my entryway. I've got- it's the same on both sides. So I've got some flowers and a pond and the tree. Let me just get myself a little zoomed. So I've got this lovely little entry where people can come and sit and chat and tell me the business they need to tell me. Uh, this is my bed with my little windows, my dressing area. I have some, oop, I have some, some makeup and hair care products for my beautiful pompadour uh, and my fish. Uh, even if my room is beautiful, Ryder Kisaragi is a disaster child, so all of her laundry is all over the place. I love Dragon Song. Such a good song. Uh, and this is my kitchen. Hello, baby. This is my kitchen with my my herbs and my bread and my my jars of things and my stew. And then I come over here and I eat. So that's my kitchen. Uh, and then I come up here and this is my living area, my living room with my booze. Oh yeah, I will. Come here, baby! He was scratching on my, my yarn bin. He likes to do that. He will not come over here. Come here. There he is. There he is. There's my boy. You wanna come up here? Come up here. Come here. Come on. You don't want to? Come here. You can come sit. Come sit and say hello. You're so rude! Why won't you come up here? I know you want dinner. You'll get dinner in a minute. You'll get dinner when I'm done. Okay, well here's my living room with my booze and my snake lady. Uh, these are the guest futons that we can take out. And then over here is my, my, my couch and my knitting. I can knit and have some snacks and some tea. My fish is, is flopping around there. It's my cute living room. And then the part I'm most proud of this is my bathroom. I've got a tub and a sink, and I've got all kinds of, of bath things. I, l it's it's weird. I didn't anticipate my warrior of light loving plants so much, but she does. She's I everything I do is like garden themed, and it's just I have a little plant lamp. My my chandelier is is plants also. Let me see if I can get a better angle for it. There we go. See, it's got all, all flowers in it. I love my, my little, my very verdant 
apartment in the free company house. Come here, baby. Why does he not want to come here? Now I'm in the snake lady's butt, and that's how you get out from the rooms back there, is you gotta run through the snake lady. Move. Okay, let me go pick up some gil from my retainers. Because I'm trying to not get too far under three million for any amount of time. Because I need, I think like, between 16 and 20 million. So I need to, I need to do more crafting and gathering. Uh, so it's not you, it is my other one. And that will push us back over. Nice. Uh, and then we have a we have our nice little plot. This is our our house in the goblet. Because uh, my friend who runs our free company, it's a very small free company. Um, we are the Rabbit Illuminati. This is the Warren, and this is our plot. Let me pull up our free company thing. We are the Rabbit Illuminati. Uh, two of our actually married friends had a had their warriors of like get married um, recently, so we we put a a little thing on the company board for them. Uh, we only have one Viera. <laughs> There is only one Viera in our free company, and that is my friend who started the free company. <laughs> like, we- like, Miko, Miko, uh, Ro... I don't actually know- Do you search info? I don't know what their- what their race is. I don't know who this is. Um... But I don't think they're a Viera, because I- I'm- uh, Vinaigrette Framboise is also a Rogadin. Uh, Eliel is our Viera leader. Sephiroth Goku is, uh... Yeah, they're all... Lan Bungie is Enrico Pucci Cat's alt, who is, uh... I think he's a here. But he will probably end up as a, as a boy Viera once, uh, once those are out. I'm not sure if, if Suri's gonna change Eliel to be a male Viera. I want Froth Girls. I want Froth Girls. I know they said they're going to. It'll probably be the next expansion. Uh, cause it's not gonna be this one. But I want them. It's the only way they'll get me to make an alt. I know once someone talked about starting like a, a VTuber roleplay free company. And I think that would be a lot of fun, if if there was that. I'd make an alt for that. But otherwise, like, I don't really see the need to make an alt otherwise, because I love Ryder Kisaragi too much. Ah, uh, so let's see, I've got some fish. Oh, let me put these in the, the free company chest. So let me sell the fish first. I'll put them in the free company chest later. So yes. Is it gonna am I hearing thunder? I feel like I'm hearing thunder. Oh, I caught a spectral megalodon. On a on an ocean fishing trip. It's like I wanna I wanna put it in a tank, but we don't have anywhere where we can put a tank that large. Cause it probably looks so cool. So I wanna like I wanna put it in a tank, but it's I don't have it like I have no more item slots in uh, my apartment. So I can't put it in there. 
and we just we don't have anywhere with a big enough space for another tank in the house so uh, we're just like okay I guess I could take the bookshelf out from behind the Namazu it's probably too big for right there though I wonder if I could put it there. Hold on. I want to see something. Uh, housing. Preview. Um, Table top. Tier 4 metal aquarium. Oh, it's big. Oh, lordy. This thing is- is humongous. Oh my god, it's huge. Yeah, we don't have anywhere that we could put this. It is technically a tabletop item. I could maybe put some lofts, like, up here? I don't know how many more item slots we have in here, though. But I know, I'm pretty sure we have some extra lofts sitting around. Oh, we do not. We only have... Hmm. Thank you, Kant. I will hydrate and I will posture check. And I will stretch. Let me sit up. Mm. Okay. Uh, what do we have in here? What, oh, baby? Okay, so I'll worry about this uh, another time. But we are gonna call it a day. Thank you everyone so much for coming. Uh, I'm gonna go feed my cats. Uh, two days from now, on Sunday, we'll have another stream at 11 a.m. Eastern, where we are going to be playing the Kamen Rider Black NES game. Uh, I don't know what that will consist of, but we are gonna we're gonna do what we did last week with uh, the first Kamen Rider NES game and give it our best shot. We're gonna try real hard. Uh, so we'll be doing that on Sunday Sunday afternoon, uh, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. I will see you all then. I love you all very, very much. Let me see who's around to raid. Uh, I don't know who Stuffings is, but we're going to raid them. Uh, looks like they're playing Bloons. I don't know what that is. We're going to raid them, though. So you give them, you give them some love. It was, Roxy, thank you for hanging out. Thank you so much. I will see you all on Sunday. Welcome Raiders! Karate Bug Mom, thanks for the raid. Let's go see what you're up to. Final Fantasy XIV, oh.